This is chapter 2, Elementary Programming, Programming Exercise 15, Geometry, Distance of Two Points. So, we're going to write a program that prompts the user to enter two points, x1, y1 for point 1, and x2, y2 for point 2. And we're going to display their distance between these two points. Now, the formula for computing distance is basically this right here, right? We have x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and we square root the whole thing to find the distance. So, solution, pretty simple. We're going to create a variable for each value. We have, there's x1, y1, that's point 1, that's two variables, and then x2, y2, another two variables, and then distance to find out the uh, after we calculate for the formula, the distance formula. All right. Now, so what it's going to look like is when we plug it in, it's going to look something similar to this. So let's jump straight into a code. This exercise is pretty simple, and it can be done pretty quickly. So we're going to create our variable x1 comma y1, x2 comma y2 comma and distance. Create a scanner. Put equals new scanner system dot in and we're going to ask the user dot print enter the value for x1 and of course we're going to store that value into this variable right here x1 and put dot x double all right and we're going to be doing that for x2 uh, Let's actually say y1 uh, x2 and y2. All right. So after we got all of that, it's pretty much plug in these values and then get the distance. So we're going to store that into here. Now, what is going to make this easy is that we're going to utilize some classes in Java that will help us calculate for all of this. So let's take a look. What kind of class will we need to make it easier? Well, if we take a look at this distance formula, we could use the, uh, the power class, uh, map to the power, x to the power, uh, whatever number we need. In this case, it's squared. And we also have to be able to square root this whole thing. And the math class has these functions to do that for us. So first, let's do the simple stuff. x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. Let's write that out uh, first. So basically, this one is x2 minus x1. And then this right here is y2 minus y1. All right? But we're not done yet. We have to square it. So we could simply utilize the map class by uh, importing it, right? You could write import java.lang. And in the lang uh, library, we have the math class, all right? Click that. There we go. Now right here is just say you're not using it, but no problem, we're gonna use it right here. Now what we're gonna do, math dot and here are all of the possible functions in the math class that you could use and pow is top because that's the more common one and that's pretty much the one we're going to be using right now pow let's see it takes in two values uh, a and b both double data type and that's exactly what we're going to put so this right here this to the power of what this to the power of two all right and then you're going to add that with this right here, same thing, math.pow, right here, this y2 minus y1 to the power of 2. So we're separating that power uh, with a comma. So uh, the math uh, function here, method here, knows that this is one variable, and this is another variable that's going to take in. It's going to take in this, it's going to calculate, and then it's going to square it. You could always cube it or, you know, go higher, but we're just squaring for now. So after all of this is done, we're not complete yet. We have to square root this whole thing. 
So how do we do that? Well, if you've been paying attention, we're going to be using math class to do this. And once again, the math class should have a square root function or method. So you could just pretty much scroll down if you don't know uh, what's it called. You could just scroll down, take a look. Uh, in this case, square root will be this right here, SQRT short for square root. And it only takes in one value because uh, it knows that when you're square rooting, you're only doing one specific thing. So it only uh, need to know one thing, which is this entire value right here. All right, and then let me just close it up with the parentheses. Do I need it? This, oh, okay, no, I don't. All right, so after all that, it is uh, pretty much what you see here should be what you see right here, right? After that, I'm using classes uh, to replace the square right here and the square root. So with this, we'll get our answer. So let's find out. All right, system dot out dot print the uh, distance between. Uh, let's see. Let's write it nice and neat. X one. Mm, yeah, and then comma space plus. Uh, y1 plus and then we're going to close that up and go uh, there we go okay uh, let's see x2 and y2 plus this is and it's kind of long so I'm gonna press enter right here is plus distance Right, so we're gonna run that. And for x1, what did I have right here? Uh, x1 is 1.5 and negative 3.4, 1.5, negative 3.4, and then for x2, y2, I have 4 and 5. Okay, 4 and 5. And Bam, we got 8.764. So uh, <laughs> if you do this calculation yourself, this should be pretty much it. 8.764 is the distance between these two points. All right, and so it's as simple as that. This right here might confuse you a little bit because probably, you've probably never seen uh, the methods from the math class before. But of course, once again, just play around with it and you will be able to uh, understand or utilize it better. So actually, why don't I just do one more quick thing to really show you uh, the how to use, simply use it, right? Let's say, um, let's do math.power. So math.power asks for two variables. It'll be variable A and B. Variable A will be the number that you want to increase to a certain power. So let's make it simple. Let's say 10. And then the second value, value variable B, is to what power you want to increase. So the simplest thing to increase, let's say two, let's say square. So we want to square 10. Uh, in this case, you put the 10 here and the 2 here. And what you get will be 10 squared, which will basically be 100, right? So if you were to uh, flip it around, 
um, if you were to flip it around, you'll get a totally different value. So instead of 10 squared, it's 2 to the 10 power. You will get a totally different value. So make sure you're inputting it correctly. All right. 2 to the 10 power is 1024. So make sure that you play around with it yourself so you understand in which place these values go. Same uh, with square root. This one should be a little easier. You just want to square root a number, so it just asks for one value. Now, easiest way to square root a number is 100. Square root 100 is 10, right? So let's confirm that. And the square root of 100, we get 10. Okay, so there's a lot more uh, type of functions in the math class. You could just play around with it yourself. Absolute value, the ceiling value, cosine, rounding, flooring, power, pi, all that fun stuff, right? But that will be it for this exercise.